everyone, Amy here. I'm gonna be working with the spring uh, paper pack, Four Seasons Spring. So this is uh, the sheets that come in it, and this is the other side. Oh, there's actually there's actually six, uh, six sheets. So this is one side, this is the other side. Now I wanted to use both sides of this sheet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut a circle and here's the sticker sheet. But I'm gonna be cutting a circle um, sort of like this. And then I'm gonna flip that piece and I'm gonna put something in behind so that I can have a, a green circle kind of sitting inside the wood grain and I don't have to cut into my second sheet of wood grain paper. So um, I'm just gonna get that done off camera here and then I'll be right back. All right, so this is my circle that's um, inset, and I've just put a piece of paper. Hopefully, I would actually recommend doing a 12 by 12, but this was the piece that I grabbed and had. So um, it'll probably get a little bit caught when I go to put it in a page protector. That's why I would recommend doing a 12 by 12 behind if you don't wanna fuss with that. But anyways, I just wanted to conserve my paper or like put a color you don't, Think you're going to use that behind that you don't like. I have plenty of those. I could have done that. All right, so I'm just going to glue this down in place. Now I'm going to bring in my pictures. I um, I went to visit my sister for her 50th birthday. So um, this isn't um, like I think if I had two pictures, it would be kind of nicer because you could see more of my circle. Because I'm planning to put like a flower arrangement here, but it is what it is. This is how it kind of worked out I, I maybe should have done a bit of a bigger circle but this is the circle I did so I'm gonna work with it and then I'm gonna bring in um I've I've used a couple of stamp sets so this one here I used this leaf here and then from this one here I just used this sprig here and uh from this one here this is an older one but you could really use any florals um I just stamped these two flowers so I'll just bring them in there. They're right here. Oops, that's upside down. Oops. And I also have um, splattered them a little bit. They're all ready to go. So they do have some kind of blue gray splatters on them. I just wanted them to look kind of, I don't know if antique is the right word, like just textured. And I probably still will give them a little bit of texture. So I was watching a YouTube video and I can't remember who it was, but she said she inks everything as well. And I was like, oh good, I'm not the only one who does all this inking. I just like the way it looks. Great, so. I'm thinking too, I'm gonna need some, I just have this strip here. So I think I'm gonna put this in behind here. I'm not sure if I want it to come all the way through or if I want it to, there we go. Now, do I want that to stick out there? We'll start it like that. There we go. I usually just ink and charcoal. And then um, I definitely think we need some more, some more banners here. So I do have some of this green. This is from uh, Flower Market. Oh, Flower Shop, sorry. So if you don't do it deep enough, just give it a little extra and Point to point, there we go. Good. Still not sure. I do like the continuation of the circle there, so. Okay, 
Well, these leaves kind of follow a circle going that way, so they work better that direction. And these guys are nice for layering under the flower to break up the pink on pink. I think I said this in a video already, but I basically bought um, Christmas story card making so that I could get those. They're just so pretty. And you just kind of wonder. It, I could go this way, but I feel like it goes against the... Oh, I guess I could go like that and allow the circle to keep going. That might be okay. Fussing around a little bit with the flower arrangement here to get it the way I want it. And you can see now how I kind of covered up most of my circle. So I wished I had made it a little bit bigger so you could see it better, but that's okay. I still love the layout. And uh, next time I know if I'm gonna do a layout like this again to exaggerate the circle, especially if I have three photos. I brought in a zip strip or branding strip from Flower Shop as well. And I'm gonna bring in the title Cherish Always, which is on the Flower Shop sticker sheet. And that's still available in the annual catalog. I will link everything that's still available down below. I popped up the title and I love doing that because then I can just sort of set it where I want it and see if it looks good there um, because I haven't taken the little stickers off the back yet. It also works to take the stick off with the anti-static pouch and then you can move things around a bit better. So I'm just popping this title right on. I think it fits in so perfect with the colors and the little curls on the end just go with the little flowers and the foliage. I'm really happy with how that turned out. It's not too often I get to do a pink and flowery layout like this, but um, I have all boys, so I have to do it uh, with me and my sister pictures or nieces or that sort of thing. I'm just bringing in both sticker sheets now because they both have some matching items and uh, I feel like I do need a little bit of um, decorations here and there yet, so bringing in some finishing touches. I also wanted to bring some uh, splatter in around the flower arrangement, but I didn't trust myself to do actual splatters, so I'm going to place them perfectly with the autumn stamp set has a couple of little splatter stamps and they're just tiny enough that they're really easy to place um, and it's easier not to overdo it with a tiny stamp like that and less is more but I also did it in a light color I used the color heather uh, just or mink would work too uh, I just really liked having them really nice and light and subtle when I added the splatters to the flowers, I just put them in a box and kind of splattered them with some um, stuff that I have in my stash. It's kind of a chalky uh, splatter spray and I just unscrewed it and used the little stem of the sprayer to splash it on. And I would, I do not have the um, Dilutions uh, uh, white splatter or white spray, but um, gloss spray, I think it is. But I would like to get it because this stuff does kind of rub off because it's chalky. These are the freshly baked dots. I have gotten a lot of use out of them and I will probably buy another package because they are just really great colors and I seem to be doing layouts that they match well. So it's just kind of nice. And I love that there's all different little shapes in there, but I've just used hearts. And then I had some green dots in my stash. So I put a few of those on too. One little last green heart from the sticker sheet and I'm going to call this layout done. Thanks for stopping by my channel and watching today and uh, I hope that you will click like and subscribe to my channel and I will catch you next time. Have a wonderful day. Bye!